Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live on EA TV. Hello, great to have you with us. And this is the scene here at the Lusail Stadium, just to the north of Doha. I'm Derek Ray, and sharing commentary with me, as usual, is Stuart Robson. And it is a first test for these two countries here at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's France against Denmark. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an exciting match. Will France be a hit or a miss? What do I mean by that? Well, when they won in 1998, everything was rosy in the camp, but they were dumped out in the group stage in 2002. They were runners-up in 2006, and then they completely imploded in South Africa in 2010. How about this time as holders? Well, they've got some great players. They've got an experienced coach. I think they've got good team spirit, so I think they're better prepared this time. I think they've got every chance, first of all, getting through this group, but also going on and winning the tournament. Crossing possibilities. Excellent assessment. And the penalty has been given here. This to open the scoring here. And he puts it away confidently. Well, here it is again. And just watch the keeper. He stands still, hoping it's hit down the middle. Unfortunately for him, he's got it wrong. has restarted 1-0 here Number 10, Christian Eriksen. he might be able to profit from the wide position and it's still on for him Well, here we can see it again. And no wonder the manager is furious. They just have to get tighter here, deal with the danger. Otherwise, that's the outcome. Not good enough defensively. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Mikael Damsgaard. Creative look about this. But they dealt with the threat posed. Yes, man. Here's Mbappe. Well, couldn't keep it. Mikael Damsgaard. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Yusuf Fofana. Here's Mbappe. And he might be through here. That's high level goalkeeping. Well, that's a fantastic save. He's such a good keeper. in by Griezmann 
Not the best clearance. Baba. Oh, great defending. Skov Olsen. Dolberg has it. Damsgaard. And do they mean business on this occasion? Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. If you're wondering about stoppage time, one minute to be added on. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. Well, Christian Eriksen, a player with a tremendous eye, Stuart, and using it to good effect. Well, I really... So, back underway here, into the second half. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Mbappe. Now with Benzema. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Eriksen. Difficult to stop him. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Chance for him to get in behind, maybe. But they're not being allowed to continue. It's offside. Well, he had the vision to pick out the pass, but he couldn't play it quite quickly enough. Time for a change, then. <laughs> 30 minutes left for play. Moving into the advanced position. Good strength to keep the ball. Yusuf Fofana. Griezmann. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. And still looking to get the shot away. Benzema. Textbook defending inside the box. Splendid run by Mbappe. It's a perfect challenge. Ericsson. Well, I'd be a bit annoyed to have lost the ball. Well, no surprise there. France have enjoyed most of the possession. But with the talent they have on show here, the lack of quality in the attacking third has been a real disappointment. Oh, Stuart, opportunity here. Ten minutes to go, then. They're on the scent of a winner late in this game. But the danger averted for now. And they need to get tighter here. Karim Benzema. Now Griezmann. Oh, fine save. And it remains all square. Well, he saved his team there. That's a big moment for the keeper. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes. And now both sides will make personnel switches. Short corner favoured. Mbappe. And there is the referee's whistle for full time. Even Steven here, they can't be separated. We were treated to goals. And Stuart, interested to get your verdict. Well, Derek, what a good game it was. Plenty of chances, some good attacking play, and a couple of outstanding individual performances. I really enjoyed it.